Hello everyone, welcome to your pick a card for November 1st, 2019. It is already November, so happy Scorpio season. It's Scorpio season. If you're a Scorpio, happy birthday to you. Um, yes, so I have three piles here. This is just love messages. What does the universe want you to know? And, um... We're going to kind of like, you know, let you know what's happening and give you some advice and, you know, see what's going on. So, take this time to pick a number, one, two, and three. Um, everything you need to know um, is in the description. Everything you need to know about me. I do personal readings. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, all that good stuff what decks I'm using. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to join the family. Um, if you are feeling this video, uh, give it a like so that it can circulate throughout the YouTube world and it gets into a uh, view of the right person, whoever needs to hear the message. And I think that's it. So let's get right into it for pal number one. And if necessary, I will be clarifying with my universal tarot. All right, number one. I pulled an oracle card for each one. So what you have, pile one, is guilt. And I'm going to read from the book. Small passage, nothing too long. Okay. Um... Guilt. Okay, for you, pile number one, it says, This card indicates deep caring and protection from emotional hurt through standing strong in your emotions. There is a greater, I'm sorry, there is a great inner resolve here. Once your mind is made up, you can see when others have tried to manipulate you. Reclaim your life. I like, I like it, I like it a lot. All right, so guilt. Wow, reclaim your life. Okay, well, let's see how that plays out in the cards. If it does, it could be a separate message. It could play out on the cards, okay? So, I have a nine card draw here for you. I have the sun. I have the chariot. Mm -hmm. I have the eight of cups. I have the Page of Swords. I have the Four of Wands. I have the Page of Coins. I have the Two of Coins. All right, these may get cut off a little bit, but you know what's there. Oh, the death card and the knight of coins. Okay, so let's see here. Hold on, let me let me do these cards. I got my decks here. I'm gonna just put them off to the side. Okay. Alright, so I don't know can kind of see I can't pull them down anymore all right so that that's what we have to work with all right pile number one I have give me a moment while I look at this Okay, so this feels a little like someone We have the Sun here. What stands out to me is the Sun card. Very positive. Um, this talks about accomplishments and success and love and joy and you know like everything is good.
But I have two cards here representing progress or walking away or moving toward something. Perhaps this Four of Wands, a could be a um, some kind some type of union, rom romantic union, a relationship. I feel like your happiness is walking away from a situation. Moving, actually moving into a more positive direction. But you have to leave something behind. It could be a um, an air sign person. Someone... If they're not younger than you, they can be not as mature. But I feel like you're 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 not you're you're trying to make the decision to end it. Because I have you juggling the death card. Like this is juggling an ending. I feel like you're juggling an ending. With the Knight of Coins here, I feel like you've been juggling this ending for a while, Pile One. I'm going to pull a card here because I have these two cards represents you know moving forward moving on leaving things behind um why is this eight of cups here for pile one? Oh, the chariot that's what i'm saying i got the chariot twice the chariot is already here maybe i should clarify the chariot why is the chariot here oh the four of swords so, I, I do feel like you are thinking of walking away from, um, this could be your soulmate or a union, a marriage of some sort. Why is a page of swords here? Ten of swords. Because the Page of Swords talks about truth, facing the truth, speaking the truth. Um, examining the truth. Um, sorry for the noise, guys. The Eight of Cups is disappoint can be disappointment. I feel like you were disappointed in something. Something you thought was gonna be successful or help you accomplish something, but you're I don't think that it I don't think that it was. Cause I feel like you're you're ready to move on. You I'm feeling you need something more positive with the four of swords there. I feel like you've already kind of pulled back or you've retreated from whatever the situation is. Um, why is a page of coin here? Hmm. The Empress. Uh -oh. The Empress. So... So the, I mean, he's a messenger. Page of coins, this is earth energy. The empress is earth energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, hmm. You could be dealing with the water sign. I have the chariot here. We're getting earth, water, energy.
But you're not. Why are you juggling? Why are you juggling an ending here? I feel like with this page of coin. <clears throat> like you have a message. Maybe for an earth sign. Like I feel like you do want to tell someone that you are moving on. Maybe you've been enlightened about something. What is, why is the sun card here? The emperor. I feel like you learned something about your husband. This could be a female too. Doesn't have to be male. You learned something about them. What is the energy behind the sun? What is the energy behind the sun? I have the sun again with the seven of cups with the page of pentacles. Um, this, I wonder if this could be, I feel like you learned the truth about someone, maybe someone, did someone father a child? I do have pages here. They represent children. I have the Empress here who represents a pregnant woman. And with the sun there, I feel like you've been... The sun illuminates things, right? They, I mean, it, it shines a light on something. Maybe you were confused about something with the Seven of Cups here. Maybe you're confu confused and now that you know the sun is here, I have the sun twice, um, you're not confused anymore. You have an opinion about it. And your opinion, I feel like, is like, I, I need to get out of this situation. But you have the Two of Coins here. Like, you're not... You're juggling this ending. Why are you juggling this ending pile, number one? What is the energy behind the two of coin? Let's see. Okay. The six of pentacles. This is um, about giving. Um, it's, it's a balancing card. Why, why the death card? Why the death card? Uh -oh. The seven of swords. Wow. Okay. Could this be... Okay. Wow. Pile number one. Okay. I'm getting there was possibly... A mistress like some infidelity this feels a lot like infidelity to me and I have the Emperor and the Empress on the board I have the chariot twice and I have the Sun twice I I also have the oh no that's yeah page of Pentacles twice I just feel like you've learned something like maybe you discovered someone was being unfaithful like someone had other options that's and now you have you have an opinion about it you have an idea it's like okay when you I think this is you were confused like maybe your spidey senses were kicking in and now you're like um okay I have something to say I have an opinion I have something um, I need to do I have an idea or this could be you I mean maybe you were confused about a child again these these are pages and maybe you learned who the father was but you're thinking about it 
Four of Swords. I got the Seven of Swords here. Like, that's very sneaky. Like, maybe you don't want to end it. You don't want to end it with this person. I think you discovered that this person has a love child. Maybe that's why the sun come out, came out twice, too. Because in this sun, not the first sun, but this sun has a child there. I'm getting children. I'm getting pregnancy. Like, a mother. I have two pages. I have an emperor father figure and I got the seven of cups which is very much so a confused energy maybe you learned the truth about someone's um, a relationship what why is the four of wands here mm -hmm. the five of the five of Pentacles okay I think you did. I think you learned. Oh, man. This is hard. This is hard energy. I think someone got put out. But then it's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, should I? Why is a knight of coins here? The Two of Wands. Yeah. I, I, the Two of Wands is like... I think you've been looking at the situation for such a long time. And this could be you've been looking at it but never really having confirmation. Never really having proof that your intuition, your spidey senses... I don't know if you... Someone came to you because there was an enlightenment here. Like the sun, like someone told you something. Or you learned something. And I feel like it's about a child. Or a father or something. Like, I feel like with that Ten of Swords, uh, I do feel like someone learned that maybe your spouse, your spouse, this child, they had another child by someone else. And you knew, but you didn't know. Or maybe you just got confirmation that the child is theirs. And you could, you could feel rejected. They could feel... You could have rejected this person or you could feel rejected. Because of the child. See, the page of coin is a child. It represents a child. But you're like, should I continue to give to this? Or do I need to end it? Like, you're juggling that. Um, if you're the one who's doing the Seven of Swords, sneaky, cheating, being dishonest, um, then, yeah, I would say yes. Yes. Cheating is not okay. I do not condone cheating at all. It's what comes along with it. Like, just reading this story here, it just sounds painful. It sounds like somebody went through, especially with the Ten of Swords there, like someone went through it because they found out the truth. Page of Swords. They found out the truth about a relationship about a marriage, some type of union. And there was a child. There is a child. And um I don't condone cheating. I don't condone cheating at all. 
and I have very little tolerance for it. This is me speaking. You may be different, Pile One, but um, let's see. What did your thing say again? Oh, okay. Well, that, that I feel like this guilt card plays a little bit into what I'm reading here. The part that stands out to me is once your mind is made up, you can see when others have tried to manipulate you. Reclaim your life. Like, manipulate, lie to you, you know, being sneaky, all that stuff that comes along with infidelity. I mean, this feels like this could be your person, pile one. I think you know what's best for you. If you can handle if you can handle your person having a child outside of the relationship, no judgment here. I don't condone it, but I would never judge a person for wanting to continue on in their relationship or their marriage and try to make it work out. Everybody doesn't have a story where you know they're fortunate enough to not have to deal with that and to deal with something so serious have as serious as having another child outside of the marriage um, to each his own I couldn't I tried to do it this happened to me before where the person I was dating had a child outside of the relationship I did try to be with him and be forgiving and I did eventually forgive him but I could not be in a relationship with him I know people who live this way now and it is a constant reminder um, it's a, a lot of times those people they don't they don't say what they go through on a day-to-day -day. the thoughts the feelings the hurt um, the time it takes to really even feel like you can be back to normal feeling normal feeling you know, it, like you, you approve of the situation or you accept it. But I personally, <laughs> I personally could not, would not do this. I mean, and I have, I feel like I can tolerate a lot of things. But I just feel like I deserve better treatment. I feel like you deserve better treatment. It's it's just such a... Ah, it's such a cold thing to do to a person. Like, you have no regard. And I don't like that people call cheating a mistake. No. It wasn't a mistake. A mistake was, I grabbed the sugar instead of the salt. You feel me? Oh, I'm, I I turned left. I should have turned right. Cheating consists of planning and plotting, strategizing. <clears throat> so it's this is not a oops. No, you intentionally intentionally did this. So, pile number one. I feel like you have the power to walk away. I, I, I have I have three cards saying, you know, you do have the power to be bold, the courage. The world is in your hands. Like, this is up to you, really. I feel like the ball is in your court. Um, I feel like the ball is in your court. So, it, it ultimately... I mean, the card, the oracle card is saying, reclaim your life. What's going to bring you life? What's going to make you happy? What's going to help you stand in your power? Can you do that? Are you asking yourself the hard questions? Can I do this? Do I want to do this? What happens when I have those moments of pain where I see the child or I hear, you know, my spouse talking to the mother of the child? And, you know, it's a lot that comes with this. What's going to happen?
Can I handle it? Can you handle it? Uh, of course you can. I think you can. But I know also a question you may be asking is, can I be without this person? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have the, the two of wands saying that you can. I have the chariot card saying that you can. I have the eight of cups saying that you can. Absolutely. I have the sun here saying that you can. Okay? Because we don't want you in this ten of swords energy. Feeling hurt. Feeling like a failure. Feeling No, you didn't do this. You didn't do this to the relationship. Now, whatever reason they stepped out, it's no excuse to be unfaithful and to have a, a kid outside of the relationship. So, pile number one. I think you know what's best for you. I, I believe it will come to you. Um, but just remember who you are. I say this to everybody. Remember who you are. Remember your worth. Remember what you deserve. If at the end of the day, you decide to reconcile or if you never left, if you decide to work it out in spite of the circumstances then you need to set ground rules you need, you need to let this person know who who they're married to who they're in a relationship with and be like don't forget it you know what i'm saying you got you got another chance and if not so be it okay my darlings oh, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment let me know follow me on instagram i do personal readings everything is in in the description Okay, so good luck with that. I'm so sorry you have to go through that pile, number one. It sucks. I've been there, and I wish you well. Okay? All right. Deuces. Okay, pile. Oh, let me move that. Pile number two. Okay. Hello, my loves. I pulled an oracle card for each pile. Trickery. You got trickery pile too? Alright, so I'm going to read a little small synopsis. Trickery. It says, notice here that there may be manipulation because of a fear of being rejected. There is no evil intent. Only a deep desire to be loved. This card may also indicate that you should practice asking for your true heart's desire rather than fearing someone else's resentment. Wow, wow, wow. Put pile number two. Trickery. Mm. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We have the death card. Okay. Uh -oh. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Judgment. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the World. Mm hmm. Doing it like this. Hold on. We have the Page of Wands. Oh, I don't do reversals with these cards. Only the clarifiers I do reversals. Oh, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Swords. Okay. Give me a moment while I look this over. Hmm. Well, I do feel like there's someone here who's, th like there's an end to 
either holding yourself back or holding on to something. I feel like it's holding yourself back. Um, there, is a, there is a completion of a cycle here. And with the page of wands... I think with the end with the end of that cycle you are looking for something different something new you're exploring something and I don't think you're backing down you're standing your ground you're trying to find but I feel like you're trying to escape something I feel like you're trying to escape something It's a love reading, so you could be escaping um, a situation. But I feel like you're not stopping yourself anymore. Whatever you decided, because I have the judgment card here, you're like, you're not backing down. Mm-hmm. Like maybe you're, you've decided to be independent. I have the nine of pentacles here. She's very independent. She's solitude. Tell me about the death card. Why is the death card here, spirit? Why is the death card here? Oh, really? Three cards? <laughs> Earth. If you're, you might be an Earth sign. Um... What is it? Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have the Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Cups. Okay. You're no longer holding yourself back. Like, there's transformation here. I get transformation here, for sure. Like, you've... You've transformed something. Like, you're not... You're no longer holding yourself back. You're, you've made a decision. You've made a decision. Something in the past, though... There was something in the past that you were you could have been holding on to. Um tell me about the four of pentacles. Whoa. Okay. The judgment. The judgment is here. Um I feel like you made a decision to go out on your own and be independent. Like you end, like some cycle that was ended. What is the energy behind the world card? Whoa. Okay. With the hermit, with the two of cups in reverse. Sorry, two of cups in reverse. Um. With the hermit. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you Cuz the 2 of cups in reverse could could be like some sort of misunderstanding or something not being clear. That's why you were in hermit mode. And when you were you were in hermit mode cuz that's introspection, finding your inner strength. Right? I think you decided to end a situation that you're in. So now you're you're off exploring things. With the page of wands, you're trying you're looking for something. You're trying to discover something. Why is the page of wands here? Oh yeah, the 7 of pentacles wanted to pop out. Yeah, I think you're I think you're evaluating or waiting for something. Why is the page of wands here? Okay. 
Man, I've been getting these repeat cards clarifying. <laughs> I've getting the same card clarifying, this, you know, itself. Um, Queen of Wands with the Page of Wands. Queen of Wands, a uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I mean, I feel like you could be an earth sign, but you could be a fire sign. Or you could have both of these in your chart. I feel like you're looking for something. I mean, this could just be you making a decision to be independent. Like you, I feel like you're a fire sign. You could be a fire sign. <laughs> and you're searching for something. Why is the seven of... Why is the Seven of Wands here? More fire energy. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Whoa, okay. That's a lot of cards, but I'm going to take them. I have the King of Swords, Six of Cups, Justice, and the Emperor. Wow. Now, this is some strong energy whoa okay i think you're standing your ground taking on the king of swords energy like no nonsense with someone from your past hmm Yeah, like, I, I got the justice here with the emperor. I feel like you're, you're, you're not backing down from this person. You're not backing down. Like, you're on guard. Like, you're ready to fight, kind of. You've made a decision, which I'm happy to see. Because I feel like it's a positive thing. I feel like there there was some sort of transformation here. Especially with the world card, with the death card. Like no longer holding yourself back. So this, what stands out to me, a uh, pile two, is this card may indicate that you should practice asking for your true heart's desire rather than fearing someone else's resentment. I mean, I do feel, okay, you are. It's like, okay, you want to not hold yourself back from being this nine of pentacles independent, right? But I, But you are juggling though. I feel like you're trying to get out of a situation. I almost feel like you're trying to get out of an abusive situation or a situation where there was a lot of control. But you're fighting back with that seven of wands you are. Yes, you are. With the justice, it's like, no. The page of wands. I want to get a, a card on the page of wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Oh my goodness, Pile 2. Are you? I think you're trying to find a way to escape. You're like, I'm done. I am no longer going to stop myself from leaving. I feel like you want to be independent. But with this Two of Cups in Reverse, I mean, this could also be someone being violent. I don't like it, but yeah, it could mean that. Trickery. Yeah, I think, yeah, oh my goodness. If you are dealing with a violent person, I mean, I do have the King of Swords here and I have the Emperor. The King of Swords might be violent. Just saying. He can be very controlling. The Emperor can be controlling. But that King of Swords can definitely be controlling. The Six of Cups. Mm. 
like maybe this person oh are you oh my god are you in an abusive situation why do I feel like this person you are with or dealing with your spouse your boyfriend your girlfriend why do I feel like they um they're trying to like sweet talk you because the king of swords with the six of cups it's like feeling nostalgic Because the inner, oh my God, yes, I do. I get that pile too. Feeling nostalgic, like they miss you. I miss you. Like now, now they're trying to make it right. I do you? Did you try to tell someone? Did you try to tell this person you were leaving? Hmm. It's like. Now that you're this in this energy, the seven of wands, like standing your ground, ready, you're on guard. You're like, you're, I'm ready to fight if I have to. Now it's like, oh, I want to make it right. I want to, you know, I really miss you. Remember the good times? Remember when I, no, I don't want to remember that. I need to bounce. And I feel, okay, I kept saying you're searching for something. You are searching for a, a way out. You're trying to escape a situation. You're trying to like run far, but I don't. Do you not have somewhere else to go? Do you have like family, friends? Um, do you have money somewhere where you can get like a hotel somewhere? Um, why? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? You're searching for a way out. Whoa. Oh, okay. Look, that wanted to come out. I'm going to take it because it's an eight of cups. Oh, you should. Oh, okay. Okay. This feels very abusive to me. Um, pile two. This feels abusive to me. I mean, you have the five of cups here. That's regret. That's loss. That's sorrow. That's dwelling on the negative. If you are in an abusive relationship, yes. I, I, I see that you are on the right track of no longer holding back. You're making a decision to bounce. You're trying to escape the situation. You are trying to end this situation because it feels abusive to me it feels controlling if anything it feels very controlling and you're just on guard but you're like should i leave should i leave i mean you want to leave. i don't think it's a question if you should i feel like it's more how so maybe you have multiple different ways and that's what you're juggling right like what's the best way i don't think you're juggling how i mean that if you should clearly i think you should now this person doesn't have to be physical there's a lot of abuse forms that are so often excused and i don't appreciate that there's mental abuse there's emotional abuse there's psychological abuse that people do you don't have to be cussing me out or putting your hands on me for me to be in an abusive situation. Let's just make that clear for those of you who don't know. Because I didn't know a lot of what entailed um, emotional abuse. Shaming is emotional abuse. The silent treatment is abusive. If you are using the silent treatment as a form of communication, that is abusive. Gaslighting is abusive. And these are overlooked. You don't have to just be in a physical or verbal abusive relationship. Uh, no, there's multiple different forms. And I feel like the moment you get a way out, you should, uh, yes, escape, escape. I got two. I have the 
the the seven of swords here twice that means to escape a situation that means to run away fast <laughs> from it yes get out of there it's like um when i first started tarot this card always used to read i remember i had like a cheat sheet and it always used to say i mean i, I remember the cheat sheet said abandon ship yes yes abandoned ship anyone who watches my videos listen you deserve way better my whole mission statement is to empower everyone i come into contact with if it's person to person like in you know face to face whether it's me you know we're connecting energetically through this video i don't care how it is i need to tell you your worth you don't deserve this type of treatment you don't deserve someone controlling you and then come over you know then they come back and sweet talk this is like abuse abuser 101 like you want to take an abusive like how to spot an abuser course they will tell you this is what they do they're super super abusive and then they want to come up come back and be nice no no we're on to you and i love that you're in this energy you are on guard I just I do want to see but there's the, the death card is here I you're transforming you're like I'm not I'm not, I'm not holding myself back anymore I got the judgment twice I know that you're awakening I know that you are making a decision I know it's a hard decision it's a scary decision but you got this pile too like you got this I I believe in you I don't even know you and I believe in you, but from what I'm back, I can I see your energy here. I know you have what it takes. It's scary, but you can do it. The Nine of Pentacles. This is you, boo. This is you. And this could be male or female. I know some men who have been in some super abu abusive relationships. It's not just a, a female thing. This could be a male, too. No. They don't know who they have. You don't deserve this. You're worth more than this. Stand in your power. Okay. Do we have to go slicing heads off? No. But you need to stand up for yourself. And I, and I like that this card is here. Like you're on guard. Because they are sweet talking you. This person has come back and they're sweet talking you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Do not fall for the okie doke. Please. Just stay in this energy. Stay on guard. You already know. You, I feel like you know. This is not the first time. This is a repeated thing. They're controlling and abusive. And then they want to come back and buy flowers. And take you to dinner. And tell you, you know, let's reminisce. And no. Do not fall for the okie doke. Pal 2. If you really need help. I mean, go to the, go to the police. I don't know how bad this situation is, but do not hesitate to go to the police. Maybe you have before. Some of you have. Um, do not hesitate to do that. Your life is way more important than this. I mean, your card, this trickery, like this person could be a manipulator. This person could just be up to no good. Um... Yeah, don't make them, don't let them make you feel bad. I'm getting this too. Don't let them make you feel bad when you decide you want to leave and then they start to guilt you. Don't let them do that. No, because they will do that. What? After everything I've been through, I mean, after everything we've been through, like, I thought you loved me. Don't you love me? Well, what if I get help? Are you just going to leave me? I'm telling you I'm getting help like girl I mean guy who I'm sorry I'm talking, I'm talking to my girls no don't fall for the okie doke please just you know I don't know spiritually where you are but if you have to pray God just give me the strength you know give me the strength to endure this help me find a way out I need to get away from this this is toxic it's unhealthy and I just I need you to guide me Show me the way and the universe will show you the way. God will show you the way. Source will show I mean, 
the you can do this I'm getting that you can do this I I like that I love the death card here with the four of pentacles I love that no longer holding yourself back okay my darlings oh please be safe please be safe guys because um this is some that's some BS right there no the more you watch my channel you will soon learn I have no tolerance for the BS I don't I care more about you I care more about your safety about your happiness about your peace you deserve peace like where am I you not gonna come up and roll up messing up my peace are you kidding me this piece came at a cost and you're not about to just come up in here effing up my piece okay no we're not having that so pile number two Ah, oh, be safe out there, my loves, please. Okay. Man, peace be with you, all right? Thank you for tuning in. And if you want to be a part of the family, subscribe and comment, like, share, follow me on Instagram. I am here. My email is here. I do personal readings. Just let me know. Just hit me up, okay? All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Deuces. All right, pile number, uh -oh. pile number three. Hi guys, I pulled an oracle card for everyone. Let me grab some water. Mm. Okay, I pulled an oracle card for everyone, for all, Three piles and you got workaholic <laughs> you got workaholic pile three okay let's see let's see why do you have workaholic um sorry oh here's my other okay workaholic let's see okay I'm just going to read a little synopsis. Here, the earthy brown of creation mixes with inspirational violet. All right. Um, this card indicates one of the most powerful manifesting energies. Now you are very pro prolific. If what you are creating stalls, you may need to recharge. Know your Limits. Are we working too hard? Um, pile three. Are we working too hard? The card is saying, the Oracle card is saying, know your limits. Mm hmm. Oh, let's see if that plays out. That could be a whole separate message, but it could play out in the card. So let's see. What messages do we have for you? We have the Nine of Cups. Okay. We have the Devil. I don't read reversals here so only in the clarifiers I read reversals we have three of swords mm, mm, mm. we have the lovers we have the ace of wands okay Oof, it's a lot of strong energy wow we have the four of pentacles We have the Five of Cups. We have the Fool card. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, give, give me a moment while I see what is going on here. Um, okay. So. Um, okay, the cards that stand out to me the most is the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. So there's heartbreak here, 
disappointment, someone's feeling resentment. I'm sorry, not resentment. Um, regret. Sorrow. Dwelling on the past. You could have been dealing with the Capricorn. I have the Devil card here. With that Nine of Cups, it's like... The Nine of Cups is a card of satisfaction. Uh, it's a wish fulfillment card. Pleasure. Ace of Wands. Okay, so pile three. I, I feel like you're working on something. You're building something. But you're heartbroken about a relationship. Maybe one you were very passionate about. And I, I don't I think you're having a hard time letting go of this heartbreak. Like you're dwelling on it. Maybe someone was a wish fulfillment. It's like this person was a wish fulfillment. Or the relationship, something was a wish fulfillment. And now you have the devil card. Like it just, mm -mm. like something happened, something unexpected happened. And it left you in the three of swords energy. I feel like it's someone you were in love with, or you are in love with. Very passionate, passionate. And you can't let it go? But you have the full card here with the Eight of Pentacles. I think you will let it go. But what's the issue here? <clears throat> Why is the Nine of Cups here? Mm. Nine of Swords, worried, stress, insomnia, anxiety. Why is a devil card here? Yeah, oh. Oh, pal three. I got the five of wands with the three of cups. Dang. Uh I didn't wanna uh I didn't wanna see it, but it automatically felt that way. Especially with the lovers and the heartbreak and you can't let go. I feel like there was infidelity in your relationship. There was infidelity here. And obviously someone found out because there's heartbreak. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The King of Cups. Could be dealing with the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're holding on to the past. You're, you're worried about this Nine of Cups, though. Nine of Cups. Um... I mean, this is a satisfaction. Like, are you worried about being um, happy or satisfied, or your wish, your wishes being fulfilled? King of Cups. 
what's behind why is the five of cups here why is the five of cups here uh -oh. why is the five of cups here the judgment judgment um could be awakening to something Because, I mean, would you be given... Uh, why do I feel like you... I feel like you can't let go of this. This is That's what I'm getting. Why the Ace of Wands? Because that's passion. Um, why is the Ace of Wands here? Seven of Cups? Options, having multiple options, multiple. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I got the eight of cups with the moon. Eight of cups with the moon. So, pile three. Yeah, I think you, okay, I, I feel like you can't move on, but I, I feel like you want to, but this is, you, you, I feel like you physically moved on when something was brought to light. You learned the truth of something, of this third party energy. And I don't know, why is a judgment card here? Why is a judgment card here? The star. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, what I do get, I, I feel like you, you awakening to what you want, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, like what you want. I think you know that you're holding on to this, and I think I don't think you want to hold on to it because it's very painful. It's painful to hold on to things. I think you want to start a new life, a new path, and you are working on it. Why is the Fool card here? Okay. Oh, yes. Holla. <laughs> The world card with the Ten of Pentacles. I think you want a new path. I think you want a new stable relationship, but you can't let this go. This this heartbreak, like you're just holding on to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? See how he's holding on to it? Like you can't let it go. What are you working on? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? You're trying to manifest something. You're taking action. You're trying to do something here. Eight of Wands. Uh-oh. Let me see. You're, why is the Eight of Wands here? Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? I think we could become workaholics. Like, you have the workaholics, right? Um, Uh-oh. Let me clarify this first. I'm getting ahead of myself. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Knight of Swords. Yeah, okay. Well, mm. Okay. Pile number three. I know exactly what's happening here. I think you're pushing yourself too hard. I think you're pushing yourself too hard. You're trying to move on, but it just seems so rushed. I mean, I have the Eight of Wands and I have the Knight of Swords. 
Both of these cards are very quick, fast, speedy. Um, the, the energies, and I feel like I see you're working on this. That you're putting your energy into that. But this le this leap of faith with the, oh my god, pile three, no, my love. Like you're trying to take a leap of faith. You want a whole new world. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, you want to go from zero to a ten. I like that you realize you you know what you want, right? You 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 know what you want. But you're still here, though. So you can't go from here to here. Like, you can't go from the Five of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles overnight. Like, you you have to be gentle with yourself. Like, take it slow. Because guess what? This happened to you. This devil energy happened to you. There was a third party, there was some arguments, some conflicts, some, something went down, and you were feeling stressed out about it. Listen, how you feel is, a, is that's how you're supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel that way. Yeah, when you've gone through a situation like that, supposed to be hurt. Yes, I'm supposed to cry. Yes, I'm supposed to feel down. Yes, allow me to feel depressed right now. It's okay to not be okay. Like we do this with our emotions, but we don't do that physically. If you were to break your arm, right? Will you be like the next day, be like, dang, you know, it's taking so long to heal? No, you know that there's a time frame. Okay, you might need four to six weeks to be back to, you know, yourself. You have to be the same way with our emotions. We have to be the same way with our emotions. That's why spirit, <laughs> that is so fun. That's why spirit is like, um, workaholic, you, you, it's too much. Take a break. Allow yourself to heal. You know what I'm saying? Like, be easy. Be gentle with yourself. Like, I just feel like, give yourself time. Don't force it. I don't care if it takes six months. As long as you're doing the work, it could take that long. There's no rule for how long it should take for you to get over someone's infidelity or someone breaking your heart someone lying to you cheat like there's no time frame you know what i'm saying it's 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 person to person however long it takes you where are you spiritually or mentally or emotionally that makes all the difference you know healing is not a one size fit all it just isn't so pile number three i'm gonna need you to be more gentle with yourself Okay, like, and just be with yourself. If you feel bad one day, one day you're just like, you're going through this, or, or, or like you're holding on to the past, right? You just can't let it go. Like today, like you have a day where that's just how it is. Today I'm just in a funky mood. Allow yourself to be in a funky mood. Nobody says you can't be in a funky mood. And if somebody has a problem with it, then they don't have to be around you. Okay, well, you don't have to be here. All right, I'll go. And if you live with people, I'll go in my room. And if you don't have your own room, I'll go to my car. I'll go to the bathroom. I'll go for a walk. I'm out. Like, you don't have to be around me. Like, go where you can have peace. And so, and don't abandon yourself. Like, just be with you. Because this feels, this feels like abandoning yourself. It's like, rush, 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 rush. I got to get over. I got to get past it. No. Pump your brakes. Okay. Deep breathing. Take it in and allow yourself to feel it. That's how you get out of it. The only way out is through. 
allow yourself to feel. Don't suppress it. Don't reject it. Don't sweep it under the rug. Don't run from it. Don't hide from it. Don't hide it. No. Be with it. It is a part of you. And the more you feel it, the more it goes away. It fades away. I'm just saying, my darlings. It's a process. Heartbreak is a process. Just like a broken arm is a process. <laughs> you break anything on your body is a process. So don't do that with your emotions, okay? You'll be okay. You'll be all right. Just, you know, let's heal properly. You know? Heal properly. Don't, uh, real quick, I have a friend whose husband got stabbed in the arm. And um, he went to the doctor and they sewed him up, right? And after like a month or so, he's like, wow, why is my arm? It's still sore. Like for him to touch his arm, it's still sore. You know, he, he just didn't think it was right. Like I should have just, you know, it should be better already. It's been a month. So he went back to the doctor and he went to another doctor and the doctor said, oh, wow, they didn't, they didn't really do this correctly. Somehow he could look at the wound and say, this was not done properly. So what do you have to do? Cut it back open. And what they didn't do was clean the inside of the wound and stitch the wound up from the inside out. Like, we don't want to have to go back later and open up those wounds and heal them properly, heal them correctly. You know how painful that is? It's like, I gotta go back and relive this all over again? No, let's do it the right way the first time. <clears throat> and that is doing the work, being gentle with yourself, talking to yourself, allowing yourself to feel it, pile three. Okay, and not be the workaholic. Not be, you know, the knight of swords rushing in to, like, get over this. No. It's a process. Your process is your process. But I can tell you, this is never anybody's process. That doesn't work. It comes to bite you in the butt later. Okay. So, that is all I have for you, darling. You'll be fine. I'm sending you love and light and positive energies. And you know what I'm saying? I'm here. My email's there. I do personal readings. Everything is in the, in the description. Join the family if you feel me. Um, yeah, I'll go to bat for you. I, 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 I'm a tough lover type of person. You know, I just don't want you to suffer later on. Because you didn't do the work. I don't want you to have to reopen up a wound and stitch from the inside, you know, so that it can heal properly. It's like, no, let's just do the work now. You know what I'm saying? Burn now. Have fun and laugh and be happy and normal later. That's what I'm saying. Don't do it the other way around. <laughs> laugh and have fun and play and, you know, and then later on you're burning. No, let's do it the other way around. Okay, my darlings, that's all I have for you. Thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate you all. I do. I really do. And I will see you guys next time. All right? Mwah. Deuces.